In this short video, I'm going to show you the, uh, uh, the parts of uh, the program I tried to work on in class and seem to uh, be struggling with. Um, there are just a couple of issues here that, uh, that actually gone ahead and built the part for uh, putting the data, but the array piece is a part that uh, was incorrect in my example in class. Uh, so uh, the rest of this is the same for the most part. Uh, the, uh, this is the URL that we're getting the data from. This is our, our web service that has uh, all of the buildings from uh, the, the Miami campus. And uh, we open up the feed, <clears throat> we take the stream and pass that to uh, one of these data set objects, which uh, reads XML from that. And then uh, we iterate through this uh, first by uh, creating an array of the size of the number of rows. And this is the part that uh, was incorrect in the version that I was creating in class. Uh, I think that I was just using rssdata.tables.count, and I actually needed to get the count of the rows instead of from the tables. And so uh, that's uh, been corrected here. Uh, but the rest of this is the same, including uh, adding the or creating the new building and adding it to the array, and then finally um, the actual printout of the um, the data in the array afterwards. So <clears throat> again, we have uh, a piece here. This is the class that we're going to unmarshal the XML and put the the data into this class, uh, and so I've, I've done that here. Uh, a constructor, two constructors actually for the uh, uh, for the class, um, and then a couple of properties um, that I auto generated, and then the rest of uh, the rest of the code uh, is essentially the same. Now, when you create your solution, you'll do a similar kind of thing. Although you're probably going to take this portion of the um, of the class. Uh, and uh, perhaps put it into a different class, but I mean, that's all up to you. The main thing for the assignment is to make sure that you create your class that you'll uh, be using for um, doing your unmarshalling. Um, so anyway, so that's the that's the solution. I'm going to go ahead and execute this. Um, run in the debugger and goes ahead and executes it. And so there you see that it's printed out all of the data for. Actually, it says here code for cook place is um, C-O-K. Um, anyway, so that's the that was the purpose of the example that I was constructing. Uh, and uh, uh, the next uh, video that you'll see, I'm going to put together a description of how to use the XPath Navigator, um, which is the other example that I was trying to do this afternoon. So anyway, that completes this uh, this screencast.